Hi folks, just a quick tutorial and demonstration of our new application. It is a minimal pairs application and it is designed to target phonological processes. Here's the launch screen here. This is on an iPad, however it is available on iPhone and iPod Touch as well. Notice here I already have a number of names in. If you want to add a name, just hit add name and you'll get first name, last name, and notice level we have receptive, expressive, or both. Receptive is more of an auditory discrimination activity where, where the child touches a button to indicate which of the word pairs, which of the words in the pair has, has their target sound. Expressive, they say the words, and either the therapist or a parent can, can judge whether they got it correct or not. And you can choose to have both. And you can go back at any time and edit this if, say, they go from receptive to an expressive level. Then you would just hit save. I have a number in here already, so um, let's get going. How about little Oliver and Darth Vader? He's he's got some some problems. So um, just hit new session, and you'll notice that it already has their processes in here. Um, you can either choose well, you can choose one or as many as you would like. And once you have chosen the first time, then it the application will remember that um, from there on out. So you can just go and hit start session, choose the names, hit start se session, and you're ready to go. A few settings. Here is student turns. Um, if there are more than one, you can have them take turns in order or keep them on their toes random. Flashcard order is um, specific to students, so either they can come in random order every time, or you can choose to favor correct, which means the application will remember what they had gotten correct in previous sessions and, and front load the deck with that so they can start off on successful note and sounds on off or silly let's go with silly why not and the cards come in face down um, this says the student's name and it is color coded whether it is a receptive or an expressive card so just tap them plain pain and you'll notice if you need to hear the words over again, just tap the card again. Pain. Plain. And this is a cluster reduction, I believe. So we would go, <coughs> oh, they missed it. So if they miss it, it will record their first response. Um, however, we still want them to be able to get it correct. So um, it will allow them to listen again. Plain. And on to little Darth Vader here. You can turn it Sit. on. Sit sick um, here you'll see it is we up here we have buttons for correct incorrect or approximate we also have a number of other icons up here this one is for diagrams so say they're saying T for K what you can do is go up here and say well, you are saying T <coughs> but you should be saying <coughs> okay so you can point out to them put them side by side here's what you're doing but here's what you should be doing and all the sounds um, that can be targeted in this application are on here. This question mark is for um, if they're um, just using vowels for like final consonant deletion. Obviously not for every vowel, the correct placement, but just to show that there is no tongue um, reaching the palate or, or lips coming together. Anyway, uh, let's square this one. Pill. Spill. You'll notice on the receptive ones there are no words. Um, this is just to ensure, just in case they're reading already, that uh, they're not reading, so it's a true listening activity. And let's get this one. Got that one right. Chime. Time. Up here is you can record their responses. Chime. Time and this will light up and you can play it right back to them if you'd like or the application will store it and, and I'll show you more a little bit about that as we go on you can let's score this one <laughs> there's some silly sounds spin pin uh, if you want to you can choose to skip just by hitting this button and tree T we'll do one more here okay um, basically the functionality of the card screen there and then we just hit this 
and this will give us our results um, for both of the students and it says what they got right what they missed and which process that they were doing you can choose to if you want directly from the screen you can print either all of them or a specific student um, email you can send an email to yourself or to parents how they did right that day um, you can go back to the session if, if you want and let's go ahead and finish take you back to the screen and let's talk about reports that's the fun part here you'll see it has their names and show report it can show you a spreadsheet on how they did so it has their names um, processes raw scores percentages and you can print or email that here too just like that and then other types of reports you can do are report card which is is what we're calling it similar to what it showed when you ended the session um, I do want to show you this uh, here the homework text is on you can have it on or off if it is on or if it's off it just shows the scores um, by themselves if it is on it's kind of some ready-made homework and it gives how they did how they got what they got right oh and you'll notice here is the um, it's in blue that one you could just click to hear how they did and at any time and that's always stored in the application anyway this is um, kind of some ready-made homework that you could print out gives the parents some instructions on how they did and how to practice and some boxes down here hopefully they'll leave some comments and also for the therapist that you can put some in as well print those off or email them also and last but not least we have um, graph and you'll notice here it says last five sessions and this will show you um, a line graph of how they've done over the last five sessions so here's little Darth Vader <laughs> we've had some up and down results with him um, and, it, and it color codes them with what particular process and same here and once again you can just print them directly out from your iPad or or iPhone or email them to whoever you would like um, one last thing you can go to today's reports if you want and say you've done a number of students in the day instead of going and having to choose them all just go to today's reports and it will show you everybody that that has been done today and you can simply hit show today's reports and it will give you everybody's results that pretty much covers things um, we hope you enjoy the application and that you find it quite useful in therapy thank you so much